Yeah, yeah, yeah. I found a treasure trove oh. of, of blocks. Oh. You can build this and oh. this. We got as many blocks as we need to last for like weeks. Awesome. I'm weeks of worth of blocks. Weeks of blocks. It looks like Twitter. What's this? Oh, hey. Oh, look. It's like a, it's like a bunch of blocks. Thing. Well, I don't know if this has anything to do with what the what the master drive has prepared for us today, but let's find out what the master drive has prepared for us for today. Yeah, hey master Welcome drive. Welcome to Game Room. What's up, home dog? I'm not a dog. It's true, he's not a, actually. A dog. Your supposition okay, is well, false. You know, whatever. Uh, so I guess hit me up. Brendan, your game is terrible. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. All right. You, you know, know I, I put a lot of hours into that, so. I've had some fun with it. So yeah, no, it sounds good. All right, let's take a look and see what I, what we got. I'm excited. I'm hoping that it's Mario Golf. Yeah. Play. What do you got? Your game is Minecraft. Oh, oh that was... Huh. Okay. Oh, this is going to be... Man, we seem to have brought the show up a notch. Yeah. Uh, he left. <laughs> let's, let's check out Terraria and Minecraft. Minestrone. A monoculus rift. Play so I have not played Terraria. I understand these are both block-based. Yeah, they don't actually—they're not as similar as you might think they are. Well, that's what we'll find out in this episode. How similar they really are. Why am I having so much trouble deciding what color hair I want to have? I don't know because you're stupid and wasting time, video time that could be used making jokes and throwing hammers. Like, oh, why did I choose blue? I'm just staring at this whole time. Other, you know what? My ex wife's ugly lady. eyes were blue. Softcore. Schraub das Ding hier noch mal Reticulating splines? I thought that was a real thing for years. Like, until about two years ago, I thought reticulating splines was like a real thing. Really? I figured out about... Well, because uh, it's... Because a, a spline is like 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 a, a ridge. So explain to me how this is in any way like Minecraft at all. So, there's objects. Oh, and... look. I got a demonic spear right from the start. Is that bad? Uh, no, it's good. Oh, okay. Uh, basically, this game is my like Minecraft in the sense that you create things. I'll have to say that the inventory screen is somewhat reminiscent of Minecraft. Yeah. And see now, but this game is much more based around um, using weapons and stuff like that and getting equipment and fighting bosses. Yeah. Minecraft is very much about doing your own thing, whatever that is. <laughs> this game is much more it, action gamey. It, 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 we're saying it's a little bit more um, structured, but Minecraft has a lot of that creativity where you're basically playing with blocks and yeah. there's monsters. It's yeah. kind of got, like if Zelda came, uh, Zelda, if um, Lego came to life and tried to blow up your house. Yeah, exactly. That's basically exactly what it is. Oh, oh. Do I have a shovel yet? No. Ha ha! Motherfucker can't get to me. Oh, okay. as a blob, my life is empty. Oh, oh right, for the go. chance to hop on somebody's head. One thing this game I do like a lot, though some people don't, is the fact that it just got trampolines. No, it just has all the recipes like that you can make available. So oh, so it just tells you uh, what you need to make it, and it's not there's no guessing involved. Yeah, because Minecraft's very much okay. Open up the wiki, figure out what you're doing. I, I figure out. That, I figure though that's one of the reasons why Minecraft became so popular so quickly. On is that it is. That's one of the things, is you had to discover it. We before were playing through uh, River City Ransom, and mm -hmm. I'm not convinced River City Ransom would have been as successful if you knew at the outset what all of the items in the stores did. Yeah. Can you, like, at the very beginning of the game, dig yourself into a hole and not be able to get out? And also, how's your spine right now? <laughs> yeah, no, my spine is not ideal. Wouldn't pop on me, though. Yeah, let me give you a couple cushions there, bro. There you go, there you go. I filled them with poison. So this game is big on exploring and digging and finding your way through your little adventure world. Like Minecraft in a way, but... Ah! What was that? That was a bunny just fell to his death in front of me. Look what I found. I found like a shaft. Ooh. Well, make sure you, 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 you hack your way into that shaft. I thought you were going to make a dick joke. That was a dick joke. It was just a very awkward one. <laughs> <laughs> like your awkward, shaft? Awkward dick jokes. And this game does update a lot. Like it does, it updates about as much as Minecraft does, I think. I've been pretty interested in checking this game out, but there is something a little tedious about it. Like that isn't so much with Minecraft. Like you're moving through things quickly, but there's a lot of repetitive actions. Like just the fact you have to put down a torch all the time. Yeah, like, like Minecraft that, too. But I know, but it's just not that much fun in this game, as far as I can see. It's precursory the way you're doing it. You can also do stuff like um, just carry a torch with you. I just prefer to put it down. 
so I don't have to deal with it. Because you can just hold it in your your hand at all times. I see, I see. I'm curious to see a bit more of the combat mechanics, though, because yeah. I think that's going to be one of the things that stands out from Minecraft, which Minecraft doesn't have terrible combat mechanics, but let's face it, it has terrible combat mechanics. Yeah, that's fair. I so also have chosen a Are you deliberately going around the water so you don't drown? Yeah. Does the water have gravity? Yes. So if you dig above it, it's not going to go up? No. no, yes, that is how gravity works. But... I can see why the Master Drive chose this, because it does definitely have a lot of similarities. Like, when you when you look at it prima facie, at, it, at the face of it, yeah. it does look like it's, you know... Ah, bats! Ah! Ah! Oh, I see, unlike in most RPGs and action RPGs, the bats ah. are not... Are not like um, I have to step down a trap. Extremely frustrating. Uh, they can be if you're in a big open space and they're really trying to get at you. But can you cast little bubbles? That's the other thing about this game is it has big bosses. Minecraft added bosses like the Ender Dragon and stuff like that. Yeah. But it's much less. The whole the big part of this game is when you beat a boss, you unlock new access to new items and stuff like that. Okay, now it's night time. Now the zombies and shit. Mm. <laughs> Those zombies don't seem to be particularly brilliant. No. As a bitch. Is that brains? Yes. Ah! Gotcha, Jim. <laughs> when I play a game, what I like to do is build my housing, live there, and then oh, live peacefully. Brendan, I'm so sorry that you don't have your own home. <laughs> it's and that you're consigned to playing video games to pretend like you have your own uh, my fantasy is that I get to live in a house and nobody makes fun of me for living at home. Oh, and there's a floating eyeball monster. It's funny because I'm the neckbeard between the two of us and I've got a family and everything. Yep. I'm going to put a torch so you guys can see me fighting this thing. Even I. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you for that rather generous... Uh... Oh! Nail. As an enemy, if I was creating a new enemy set, the first thing I wouldn't jump to would be the eyeball with tentacles, despite yeah. the fact it's much easier to draw than any other of the enemies. Yeah. Which is why there's so many games have them, by the way. Yeah. They're like, I can draw a ball! Why don't I draw an oval on that ball? It's an eye! It's an eye! If you look at my art, 90% of it is eyeball. <laughs> So what happens when it, when there's lots of zombies out during the day? Um, they just kind of just lingo. Ooh, ice cave. It's like level two of any game. You know, it's a snow zombie. Oh god! This is a bad idea. There you go. <laughs> you stabbed that ice zombie. And there's a demon altar. And there's death. Hi, <laughs> I am Jaclan. It what sounds like that sounds like a man. Um, it that sounds like a male character from like Star Trek: The Next Generation. Yeah. <clears throat> they travel to the planet of the people wearing uninteresting tunics. Yeah, uh, Jaclan. What's interesting about your people? Well, we're a society of total peace, except if you touch these red stones, we must murder one of your crew at random. That seems like an arbitrary rule. It's our society. <laughs> Don't judge us. This is a mess. This is a, a metaphor for colonialism in some way. Are you sure you're not a writer for Star Trek? I, I love Star Trek, but I have to admit that there's a lot of like, here is an awkward workaround to get into this philosophical subject we barely understand. My question is, what do you expect our audience to be looking at? Ah, uh, look at my mouse cursor. It's wacky. Oh, something's attacking me. This entire episode was a terrible idea. Ah! And I hate you all. Like, I'm gonna do this. It's not gonna be interesting, but I'm gonna do it. Um, this is a very tall tower. What's the purpose of this again? Look, I think I'm actually starting to reach space. This music comes very Katamari. We've reached the end of the universe. They say. Dun, 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 dun. You're fine. Alright everybody, that was Terraria.
Mm-hmm. Probably gonna cut most of that. Hey everybody! Hey everybody! So, we're in our normal place at our normal time. Yeah. For some reason, uh, 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 space jump. Right. As, as somebody we know, um, they couldn't remember their password, and we couldn't run this game. Well, uh, those two we... are unrelated things, but yeah. Now you have a branch that you can smack. Ah, uh, right? take branches. So we're playing Minecraft. I kind of feel like you should be the one to play any, even though this is my game through, because I haven't played this in a long time. I, when I played this, it was like it was it was free. Well, first of all, you have to do is cut down trees, not it's, with a branch. Welcome to the most boring gameplay. <laughs> we should do a run where we try to beat like we should try to beat like the Ender Dragon and all the things, <laughs> but we don't use any tools. <laughs> just just a block of wood. Just a block of wood. We try to kill the Ender Dragon, but you have to shoot with arrows with a block of wood. I just realized this 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 goal is impossible, but. <laughs> Um, can I just say that this is the, literally the exact same thing that you did when you were playing? Yeah. In, in just just about five minutes ago. Yeah. Somehow we got to this other house in five minutes. I totally less. changed outfits and somehow have a baby. And now you know where babies come from. Goodbye, childhood. Yeah, with monsters. With it's, monsters. Le- it's Lego with monsters. It's like new Lego. Rabbit. Oh, oh look at the rabbit. Would you? I'm wooding you. You hit everyone but the rabbit. Well, that rabbit. That rabbit's very chill. We decided to let Brendan play because he remembers how to play this game, and I don't. I don't know any of the recipes, and I'm also really bad at it. <laughs> it's, no, it's not that you're bad, Blake. It's that you're infuriatingly terrible. It's getting dark. Um. Well, go find my pit and hide in it. No, but the problem Cover is... Your head if over I hide dirt. in a pit, Blake... Monsters spawn in the darkness. No, no, no. A, a two by two pit and cover yourself with dirt. There you go. And now put dirt above your head. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> We're in gameplay! <laughs> no, I don't. The night here. There you go. This is like the most depressing survival story of all time. Well. I suppose we should be fighting monsters because that would be entertaining for people to watch. You know, yeah, let's go. Let's go. Let's be stupid. I've spent the last twelve years working on a working computer. Oh hey, it's an Enderman. In pro- hey Enderman. It programs entirely in Pascal. Oh, where'd he go? Oh hey Enderman, what's up? What's up Enderman? Come on Enderman, attack me Enderman. Come on. Oh, the spider also trying to kill me. <laughs> I'm gonna kill it with a sapling. It seems like you're slightly over outmatched at the moment, is what I'm gonna say. <laughs> well, see, the thing is, Endermen don't like water because they're cats. Okay. And so I'm standing in water, so if it tries to get close enough to hurt me, it hurts itself. And then this spider screwed up my plan because I have to try and kill it with, a, with, some, with some seeds. Why don't you switch items? Okay, okay. here, I'll kill it with a block of wood. <laughs> That's I know good. that actually sounds better, but it's really not. <laughs> Am I actually gonna punch the skeleton to death? You know what the, the graphic design of this game really really reminds me of when we played this a while ago? What? It's a forbidden forest. Oh, these, oh I'm dead. <laughs> <laughs> oh god. Oh god. Uh ow. uh please don't come any close so once you get hit by them, because it's like Oh oh god! Oh god! No! 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 Haha! <laughs> Bird! I will live forever! <laughs> oh, ow! So I turned the mouse sensitivity up. A little bit too high, maybe? No, no, I only put it on the max setting. Can't be that high. <laughs> okay, so now I'm gonna build my giant fortress. Okay? With eight blocks of dirt. You know, here's the thing that is probably the downside to the to the nature of our show and doing and doing either of these games. They both really require a lot more gameplay before you really get into them. Yeah, but it's amazing how much time people have spent in, in Minecraft that is spent productively because, you know, it's the same as building any models or anything else like that. But really, like, feels like a waste of time. Like, I've wasted a lot of time in Minecraft over the over the years since I first played it. Come on, you block. <laughs> sad music plays. I am the sad music plays. What do you think of this game, Casper? I could never grab that block again. It would always be... Reach out your arm, Casper. Reach out your arm. Slowly. No, really slowly, I guess. 
I didn't mean to jump off that and break my ankles. Yeah. Look, it's a squid! I'm gonna punch, punch the squid! squid. Punch, I'm punch, gonna punch, punch squid. the squid! Squid punching! Do, 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 Can do, you do. shout squid punch 64? A squid punch 64! <laughs> <laughs> hey everybody, welcome to Squid Punch 64! Dun, 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 dun. We're gonna do some punching, some punch some squids. Are you ready for I some squid punching? Getting any closer? Come here, squid. I come in peace. It was the most beautiful thing I have ever seen. The squids, they were receding from the ocean. It is man's interaction with squids that leads us to the inevitable conclusion: punch them. Punch them. Punch the squids. Punch the squids. <laughs> punch the squids. But... This was my assistant. Yeah! I turned it into an orb of light that I can use to enhance my magic! <laughs> Game was... of the year! He was a crazy person that I found <laughs> on the street. But unlike me, he remembered one thing. His accent. I've forgotten my accent. <laughs> But it's a German or something. Okay, now I can swim back up. I got this. Oh. <laughs> so it's a good thing I broke that chest and then ran away in a random direction so I'll never find the stuff they gave me, huh? That's, that's a really good idea. <laughs> no, but it's true. Like, the, one of the weaknesses of doing our, <laughs> our show with, um, with these games is inevitably um, there's so much more gameplay to them that we're barely scratching the surface of. Yeah. So we do feel kind of bad about that, but realistically, we both all, we all know. We about, all know mine. If you're all curious about Minecraft or Terraria, just there'll be like 80 links in the side. You know what, guys? If you um if you want to see like for our verdict, if you want to see how we came to our conclusion about Minecraft, watch the, ne the watch the uh, following 6,000 videos that are about to stream by. And that was all the yog cast for last week. Yeah. I chose the most boring direction just to walk in, didn't I? <laughs> you know, that's really my life's understanding of life. My understanding of life is that I somehow walked in the most boring direction, but I ended up in a wonderful place with my children. Not really. I was gonna say. Anyway, I'm here on Bear Grills. Um, this so is... if you want to eat a scorpion, what you need to do is dig a trench that leads nowhere and has no purpose. And then ignore it and continue walking. That's not what Bear Grylls sounds like. I don't know what it sounds like. I don't know what he's British or something? I don't know. Oh, Caney, Caney. You are my Caney girl and I am gonna cane you. <laughs> do, 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 do. Cane you. Do, 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 do. Stop. Should we stop caning people? <laughs> All right, no caning anybody, folks. All right. New law, new new same, law, same as the old law. <laughs> and the new law and the punishment for caning people is being caned. So here we go. These two monsters set to go. And that, and too bad that wasn't just like catchphrase. <laughs> Somebody's going to get caned. <laughs> or maybe you could be like, anybody want some of that rock candy? And then like the rock comes in. Yeah. Rock candy, and then people are like, boo, boo, I no longer enjoy wrestling. I thought nothing could make me do that, <laughs> considering the quality of wrestling plot lines in the last 20 years. But nope, this th put me over the edge. That one pun. <laughs> one pun made it so I no longer enjoy this thing that is inherently the most campy sport in the world. Welcome to Bear Grylls Survival Pizza. I like to imagine Made a, with a, your own urine. I like to imagine a bear was the one doing all the grilling. What's this? What's that? And he's wearing one of those kiss the chef things. Yeah. Hilarious! I know, right? <laughs> kiss the chef. He's a bear. You don't kiss a bear. Well, that would be foolhardy. Yeah, no, they don't form romantic relationships. Hey guys, I hope you've enjoyed our playthrough of Minecraft. <laughs> uh, I know I haven't. <laughs> but now the real question is, which one which game reigns supreme? There we go. Yay! I feel like we've successfully built everything that could ever be yeah, built. Yeah, no, I think we've, we've fully we've explored both games. Minecraft and Terraria are done. We've found the beginning, middle, and end of these games. Nobody will ever play them. This is this is the This is the last YouTube. This is the defining moment for Minecraft. <laughs> All right, so welcome to the uh, verdict, everybody. We have uh, our friend we've uh, played with before, Julia from Sorry Game Over, which is basically a joke based on the fact that nobody can pronounce her name correctly. 
Um, <laughs> um, so, uh, Julia, we're, we're going to get started here. We have uh, two minutes to convince you that I'm right. Yes. So, why don't you get started, okay. uh, or actually I'll get started, right. with by talking about Minecraft. So, Minecraft, uh, we're talking about the game without the mods, without all the other stuff. We know that Minecraft has a huge community, but we're not going to try and get into that and say which one is the better community. Minecraft still, without all the mods, is just on the initial time you look at it, a really fun game. It, it looks good, it's fun to play, and it's interesting. It's like this puzzle when you just dropped in the zone, you've got so much world to explore, but, but we ha you barely get into it. There's, it, it's sort of like playing with blocks that explode. There's monsters, you, you've <laughs> got to survive. Um, and the great thing is it's a great game for adults and for kids. Like there's so much you can build and do, even in the vanilla Minecraft, um, that you can really never run out of stuff to do. It's sort of the, the prime example of an indie game that began from nothing and built up into this huge empire. Um, it's a lot of fun, it's continually challenging, and the creepers are actually pretty scary. Yeah, you know, it's also scary being brought up by Microsoft. But aside from that, <laughs> uh, Terraria is just a really fun game. It's really action heavy. Uh, well, Minecraft is more about building and building and being creativity. Uh, Terraria is much more about the actual gameplay, getting in there, hitting things with swords, using your rocket packs. There's tons of new items, and they're always introducing new things. There's so new is Minecraft. So is Minecraft, yes. But there's also bosses constantly everywhere. Uh, the more you go through the game, it has a real sense of progression. You, you know, fight the first boss, then you can fight the second, and you can jump around and explore, and you can create a bunch of really awesome stuff in Terraria. Um, but it is much more focused on the gameplay. It also doesn't do that thing where you have to keep looking at a Wikipedia page to figure out how to make stuff. It, everything's in the game. It gives you the tools you need to start, and actually allows you to sort of explore the game quicker without having to do a bunch of research behind the on the back end. Um, it's also like, it really is an indie game, it's run by just a handful of people. The art is really neat and pixely, it's really a good Super Nintendo style graphics, which is just super appealing. Yeah. So anyway, we've got the two games, we've got basically uh, Lego with explosions and skeletons. And explosions with Lego. And explosions with Lego. So um, <laughs> now it's up to you, uh, sorry game over, to tell us which of our arguments reign supreme. You know, well, I've never played either game, Perfect. so we'll put it like that. But if I had to choose... I we were already downvoted as soon as you said that. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry? I said I would go with the Minecraft's argument. <sighs> you said, said sad you won. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I, I, was, I was sad that I interrupted that I won. Because I clearly won. <laughs> and then I spoke over the verdict, so I had to hear it the second time, and that was the part that d distressed me. <laughs> <laughs> Um, they're both pretty interesting games, but Minecraft is got so much depth in it. It's kind of uh, fun to be able to go back to that. So, uh, thanks a lot uh, for your arguments, uh, Julia. Um, please check out her channel. Um, she's done lots of stuff, including some stuff with us, and she really does a whole <laughs> range of different gaming-related uh, stuff. It's pretty cool. Do you think she provided the uh, right verdict? Or do you think there was arguments that maybe we missed? Mm -hmm. uh, let us know in the comments and in Facebook, Twitter. Um, just staple them to your face on a, with a piece of paper. <laughs> just like run at us at full speed. Yeah. Um, and don't explode. Hopefully. Um, also, is there a couple of other games you will think you need to see head go head to head? Uh, or would you like to be a guest judge? Remember, we only accept incredible celebrities from around the world. Um, Till next week, everybody. Uh, please enjoy your game drone, and uh, till next time, he's gonna give the catchphrase this week. All right. Potato salad. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'm still in freeze frame. Oh, sorry. Potato salad.